Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome to the final mission in Aliens Dark Descent. Although I was certainly not the final video, because I suspect this thing is going to be absolutely around, huge, man. and it's going to take hours to get through, if I even can get through this it in a single deployment, down. which I highly doubt. So, quick recap. Actually, I'm going to have to pause here for a minute and try to remember exactly what it was that happened in the last episode. Oh yeah, we, um, we fed Director Price to some aliens. I mean, you know... <laughs> All she had to do was keep her word, and she would have had a ticket out on the Otago, but she just had to try to fuck us, didn't she? So, we now have an actual solid lead on the location of Sergeant Harper's daughter, Cassandra. And, I mean, you know, we don't just want to rescue her for sentimental no, reasons. She's Trust also me. key to the whole Darwin-era xenomorph cultist That's thing, which may end up collapsing feeling. without her, even if they don't get wiped out by the impending nuclear strike from orbit. Oh, yeah. You about that. Shield operation, cryosleep chambers ready. The moment of truth has arrived, Hayes. Are we going through those platforms or what? No, not yet. We need to hold the line. Are you crazy? Those creatures are everywhere. Cerberus is about to go nuclear. According and to Price, Marlowe took control of an ancient city. I'm not sure of its exact nature. There could be dozens of prisoners there. I won't abandon them. Cassandra's alive, for sure. We still got time before Cerberus launches. It'll be tight. But we can do it. Hayes, are you okay risking everyone on this boat? Yes. Because that's the job. We save everyone we can. Everyone. You and me, we were part of this. We kept our heads down and did our jobs and let all this happen. We have a responsibility to those people. Because no one else at Wayland yutani ever saw them as more than numbers on a balance sheet. Well, if you put it like that, I guess I'm in. Good. Because I need you on the APC. At this point in the playthrough, I have 19 days to go before the Cerberus protocol exercises the nuclear option. So I don't really have any need to rush straight into this final mission. So is there anything that I'd like to New do in the next 19 days? Well, actually, I'd like to get a Marine medic up to rank 10, so I have one of every class at the maximum rank. And Latimer's at rank 9, so one deployment nice and day. she'll be ranked Definitely 10. Administrative Unfortunately days. there is only one deployment left and, well, at the you end of that it. deployment we'll the game ends. One. You don't come back and get to promote people because it's the last mission. But there is another way of giving Marines experience. So it's at this point where I hatched a, a plan day, so cunning you could pin a tail on it and call it a fox. Because on board the ship, there's a training facility. New objectives are and I've had all of the view. rookies in the training facility, in fact most of them are at least ranked 3 or 4 by now, uh, trying to get rid of their negative traits with the redemption perk every time they get promoted. I could put Latimer into intensive training, and in the more than two weeks that are left before I have to do the final mission, she'll accumulate enough experience to hit rank 10. Hooray! So I'll pop no, Latimer into see. intensive Trust training. Me. Now, this does mean that she can't be healed or sent on any missions, and when the intensive training is complete, she will be exhausted, which normally means they That's can't be the deployed for three feel, days, but, well, she's got the perk that means she's no longer subject to the tide effect, so hooray! Bye, man. And Thanks. I also have ten Bye. engineers who are generating 50 resources every day, so I'll have no have shortage nice of toolkits and medkits and all the good shit that I'm going to need around. for that Hello. final mission. So with Latimer only needing 7 days of intensive training in order to hit rank 10, and with 17, although now 16 days to go before New the planet gets bathed in atomic review. fire, what could possibly go wrong? With 2 days to go before she picks up the promotion to rank 10, the overnight Have random nice event day. gives her a nervous breakdown. What did I teach you, At the time I thought, well this shouldn't be a problem because she's immune Marine. to the tide effect, but I'll, I'll just I'll just pop into the barracks and check just to make sure. Don't forget, when I had 17 days to go, she only needed seven days of intensive training in order to reach rank 10. So let's head up to the training room. No watch out there she is. Trust She's still in intensive training. The nervous breakdown didn't pull her out of the barracks and put her in the infirmary, but she still has seven... Bye, ma'am. Seven... Troops, she still steady. has seven days to go after seven days of intensive training. Your objectives are awaiting your review. Something's gone wrong. And I don't really know what it is, but it's possible that you can't actually get from rank 9 to 10 just by doing intensive training. You actually have to deploy. So either way, this is just not working. 
And that made me sad <laughs> because it was a good plan. It should have worked. And yet it didn't. With five days to go before the end of the game and Latimer still needing seven days of intensive training in order to hit rank 10, I realised it just, for whatever reason, wasn't going to work. Which was a bit of a bummer, because I'd like to have done the final mission with a full squad of rank 10 marines, but having a rank 10 medic isn't actually that important because the ability that they get at rank 10 only affects the recovery rate of the marines after returning from a mission. And the only thing these marines are going to be doing after returning from this mission is getting the hell off this planet. So, would have been nice, but you can manage without it. This, of course, assumes that I'm going to be able to complete the final mission in one deployment, which is by no means guaranteed, so it wouldn't be a good idea to keep running the clock down until there's only one day to go. <laughs> in case, for whatever reason, I have to extract and redeploy to finish the mission off the following day. And if I leave it until there's one day to go, there isn't going to be a following day. So with four days to go before the end of the game, I finally strap my man pants on and get ready to head back to Harper's Hell, which is also the location of the Old Divide dig site. Old Divide, by the way, a reference to the Old Divide Gorge, an archaeological dig site in Tanzania, that's often referred to as the Cradle of Humanity because it's where they found human remains 1.8 million years old. It's believed to be the place where humans first walked the Earth. The fact that the dig site that we have to go into here in Harper's Hell is also called Aldivoy, and it's related to the aliens, does not fill me with a great sense of well-being and contentment. But it's where we have to go, so I guess I'd just better crack on and get on with it. So, it's time to assemble the squad of ultimate badasses, and it's given me exactly the same squad selection as it did in the previous mission in Pharaoh's Spire, and wow, what the hell is going on with Smudge's Cloak? That thing has a mind of its own. Um, by default, it's given me two gunners, Maori and Spider. Spider actually has a negative trait, and Maori's now a rank 10 gunner as well, and I really think I'm going to need a medic for this mission, so even though Latimer isn't rank 10, she's coming along. And the only real benefit that you get from having a rank 10 medic is the ability to equip them with a plasma rifle and of course the rank 10 medic perk which is absolutely 100% useless on this deployment because it's the last one in the game. Well it's the last mission in the game, it might not be the last deployment. That's why I've left myself a couple of days spare just in case this proves to be too tough for the squad they have to extract and come back and finish it off again the next day. So that's the squad. Now resources. With nearly a thousand resources to spare, there is absolutely no reason to skimp on tools, medkits and sentry guns. I may as well stuff everybody's pouches to capacity, because even if I don't have enough tools, medkits and sentry guns, I can always make more with the nearly thousand resources that we've accumulated. So I'm just basically going to stuff everybody's pouches to the limit. And thanks to the upgrades that I've given the squad, that's a lot of stuff. Nine tools, nine med kits. Obviously, each of them can carry one sentry gun. I've also accumulated an arse ton of Xeno samples, so there is no reason why I shouldn't take every single Xeno project as well. Although, maybe I don't need the stasis grenades because nobody's got a pulse rifle, so nobody's got a grenade launcher. So we'll skip the stasis grenades, but we'll take everything else. Let's go, Marines. They ain't paying us by the hour. Listen, I need something from you. I know what I'm asking of you. I know it would be better with one of Harper's speeches. I have none to give. I only remember that old saying, save one life, save the entire world. Doesn't mean much on Lethe. This planet is doomed and there's plenty of lives to save here already. But we've got one last piece of unfinished business. Malo and what's left of the Darwin era are entrenched in their dig site. We could leave them to burn in the Cerberus firestorm, but they've still got captives, and Sergeant Harper's daughter is one of them. Joan has kept us alive ever since the outbreak began. We owe him everything. It's time to pay up. My plan is simple. We head for the mine. From there, we deploy two teams. One secures a landing site while the other penetrates the Darwin Era base and rescues the captives. I'm not gonna lie. With Cerberus above our heads and creatures all around us, failure is a big possibility. That's why I won't risk the Otago. Either we manage to secure a landing site and evacuate the prisoners, or the ship escapes without us and we give those cultists a run for their money. Your colonial marines. 
You're survivors. Whatever the outcome, I know you won't let me down. Alright, Hunslet. Drop the squad off in the deployment zone. I'm gonna need you to dust off and maintain the slow orbit of the colony. Just in case we need you. Although, we are going underground, so I can't see us getting much use out of your air support. But it's the thought that counts. Let's stay focused. We may know the place, but this time, we have to go deeper into that dig site. If there's an underground city down there, there should be an elevator of some kind of reach in. We save everyone, not just Cassandra. Everyone. I think yeah, we're spotted. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I mean, Our I want to get in, incoming. done, and out as quickly as possible. But, um, yeah. You see, I've been here before, so there are some motion trackers deployed. Holy shit, that's a lot of contacts. Right, just Move in case on. they're aliens, let's get out of line of sight, tucked in cover squad. behind the APC. Come on then. You know, it might be a good idea to just drop a field motion tracker right next to the APC and then trigger it. I mean, that, that big cluster of motion tracker contacts down to the south, More that's going to be a squad of cultists. Aliens don't move around in groups like that. It's seen us. Light them up. Oh, yeah, you've got to be fucking bark. kidding. <laughs> Seriously? Already? On my way. I've just stepped out of the APC. I stopped to check the map for a minute and I'm already being hunted. Fuck my life. Well, shit happens. <laughs> Come on, team. So I'm looking for an elevator and I just spotted one on the map uh, over here somewhere that I haven't actually explored in my previous excursion to... In case you're wondering, by the way, you're thinking, hang on a second, um, you said you've been here before, and you obviously have. I mean, parts of this area are already explored, and you have field motion trackers already deployed. This can't be Olduvai. It, it isn't Olduvai. This is the Harper's Hell refinery. I don't hear him anymore. And clear. this is where the entrance to Olduvai is. Although that's clearly not it. I can't get into that elevator. I can't interact with the console. So, I haven't been to Olduvai, but I have been to Harper's Hell, which is where the entrance to Olduvai is located. I just have to find it. Thankfully, there are still... I mean, you know, that lot of good they did me just now. Stepped out the APC and instantly triggered a hunt. Um, but there are still some field motion trackers around. And I can... Come on, team. Actually, you know what? Instead of running around on foot, I've got an APC. I've already unlocked all of the... Uh, APC deployment zones here, so instead of running around on foot and triggering hunts, uh, if I need to get down to a place near an APC deployment point, I may as well just climb into the APC and drive down there. I mean, second class riding is better than first class walking any day of the week. Seems like a quiet ride actually, didn't encounter anything along the way. I mean, there was that big old patrol of cultists that we just annihilated in the middle of the hunt. We would have probably had to run into them along the way. And there's a motion tracker contact over there to the east. It's a lone contact. It's probably an alien. It's heading this way. That should be the door leading yeah, 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 yeah Michael. Shut up. We got a contact. Get it's it not open. an alien. It's just a cultist. It's, God damn it, Smudge. You had one job. Move them slightly. Do you have line of sight now, Smudge? He does. Okay. They're heading our way. Why is everybody shooting? That was supposed to be a precision shot. What? Oh, fuck me. There were a couple of aliens behind him. <laughs> and we're being hunted again. Make no mistake, people. The enemy could be right behind that door. Not a good start. I have to admit. I've had better starts. What are they doing? They're taking him below. They're here. Kill the oppressor. Got absolutely nowhere to take cover here from any return fire, so we're gonna headshot as many of them as we possibly can. Oh, for fuck's sake, Smudge, the only member of the squad who doesn't have line of fire. Fine, plasma rifle. Oi, where are you Let's going? Come back, you're being rescued. Oh, thank you, thank you. They took me and so many others. I think they're in that mine. Don't worry, we'll get them. 
Tango, straight ahead. Ooh, another contact. Come on, Smudge. Do not. How can you be fucking this one up as well? There it is. Got you in my sights. Oh no, the APC took care of it. Well, that's fine. Right. Um, I mean, the APC is right there, so I should probably extract this survivor. Since, move, you know, move. we're right next to the Wait, APC anyway, it. rather than having him potentially killed by following us deeper into the mine. So Come let's on, get team. this survivor out. And then we'll head deeper into the mine. Try to find the entrance to this dig site. So our current objective, reach the mine, reach the security room. And there is an objective marker just up ahead, and that doesn't look like a security room. Oh, it's an elevator right platform. Oh, this is it. Right. And we do get to take the APC with us. That's good news. There is, however, an awful lot of bad news. Because if there's one thing that this game loves to do, it's getting you to rely on something and then taking that thing away from you. It was very nice of the APC to clear the room for us, and the APC is going to be very, very useful on this mission. Right now, though, we have to reach the security room, which is clearly indicated on the map, but I'm not seeing any other motion tracker contacts Flying on this level. Tracker. Let's slap a field motion Sending tracker motion down. Tracker. Okay, here we incoming. go. There's somebody. It's cultists. Okay. Well. I'm in cover. This is a good spot. I'm also hidden because I'm Come crouched on, behind cover. The second I move out, of course, they're going to spot us. But that's fine because all I want to do is draw them towards us so the APC you can take them out. But they appear to be a bit You're smarter like than I'm giving them credit for. They're actually ducking down into cover as well, so I'm probably going to have to do this the hard way. I've got plenty of command points, so I can just sit here with Smudge. Now he's finally in position and able to do something and um, take them all out. That, it's like that guy hasn't even realised that his entire squad has just been executed. Alright, fine. We'll move up to the next bit of cover. Safe position taken. And we're in hiding. And I thought that door there was the security room, but the objective has just moved. There's still that one cultist in the room with us, though. So, let's move up to the next Safe bit of cover. Taken. And once again, we're in hiding. Really need to take this guy out. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Uh, we'll just... We'll just you in my execute him. Like right, that, okay. Huh? Come on, Looks like this room's clear. Let's see what's behind this door. They're heading our way. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Of course, my pouches are full, so I can't pick any of it up. There's a couple of uh, doors sealed by terminals from this side. And I've got skirts with me, of course. My tech. So even if these did require a tool to unlock, they won't, because Skirts doesn't use tools to unlock encrypted terminals. So what's on the other side of this door? Oh, there's a bad guy. Smudge, do your thing. Smudge doesn't have line of sight. That's alright, there's me. Um, oh, there's another sentry gun here. I mean, I can't pick it up. But I could always come back and get it after deploying a sentry somewhere else. So we'll remember there's a sentry gun there. And this guy is way too close to take out with a precision shot, so this is fine. Shotguns and plasma rifles also get the job done. Right, a couple of them have now reacted, and Smudge, of course, well, in fact, nobody actually has line of sight from here, so we're going to rush out and get into cover there. And those plates don't actually provide cover. <laughs> I feel kind of cheated. <laughs> yeah, fine. Uh, we'll just... I suppose deal with them the old-fashioned way and hope that our armor doesn't take too many dings in the process. Just shoot them. What's Stern going on about? 
this is great. They actually have the benefit of cover and I didn't. And Skirts now has no armor left. Mary's armor's taken a ding as well. Oh, this is just the best possible start. Two hunts and already Skirts basically has no armor. Right. I'm going to pop the sentry gun down. Deploying sentry gun. Because sentry look ready. at those motion track contacts in the next room. More signals incoming. I'm going to come back and pick up the sentry gun in the crate. Roger. So we still have five sentries inside. and one deployed. Also gives me a chance for my command points to regenerate fully because I suspect I'm probably going to need them when I breach that next room. I'm. I don't even know if that's going to be the security room because the objective marker just keeps moving every time I enter a new room. On, but there's a... L I mean, judging by the amount of contacts on the other side of those doors, that's probably the security room. Yeah, let's go. Get into cover. Nice. There is some actual cover here. I mean, they're in cover as well, but I believe I have the firepower advantage. Go on, Smudge. Got you in my oh, yeah. Precision shots are really good for taking care of people who are in cover and shooting back at you. Right, now. right, this does appear to be the security room. I'll attack activate coming. those cameras and see what's what. Let's also pick up the stuff that we can, although obviously I can't pick up any tools or med kits since my pouches are full. Yeah, let's do that. Right, camera here. God, that door's gonna be a problem for the APC. We need to get it open. Okay, problem number one. Would you look at that? Our fanatical friends piled up some crates. Could be useful. Right. Wow, look at the size of this level. Camera's all over That's here. One hell of an airlock. The entrance to the mine complex itself, probably. Alright, so that's where we're going. That's our prisoner. Yeah, if I've got time, sure. What are you waiting for, people? The control room. It must operate all of this area. We should check it out. All right. That might be slightly less mysterious, but we have to move. Open these doors next, you Marines. There should be a terminal nearby. I could make a shelter here in this control room, but it's going to require two tools, and I'm going to be opening some of these doors, so it'll end up costing us more. So let's not. And I don't need to right now. I suggest you start exploring that treatment area. Remember that door blocking the APC? It's terminal can't be that far. You make it look easy, squad. Nicely done. Yeah, nice. I pressed the switch. <laughs> Go me. Right, whole bunch of contacts in the room next door. Uh, let's let's stop and have a think about this, because none of my objectives are that way. Although I might, I'm probably going to have to go through those because the the direct route to the objectives is almost never the right way. I do seem to have an objective right here though, but it's More never going to be that simple. Yeah, there's the door I need to get the APC through, and of course the terminal that controls the door is on the other side, so I'm going to have to go around. Right through all of those motion tracker contacts. Okay, let's get everybody into cover here. Well, I mean, it's not cover, but it breaks line of sight. So I've got a couple of choices. Some cultists right at the other end of the corridor. Fortunately, it's just cultists. I mean, you can shoot cultists and get spotted by cultists, and it ain't going to trigger a hunt. But what it does trigger is their trigger fingers, and Kurt has lost spotted. all of her armor. Mary's armor has been dinged up as well. I mean, I'm killing them quickly enough because I seriously outgun them. But if you're not in cover, Come on, team. you take attrition. Hurry up, you slugs. Right. There's cover here, I can get behind these crates. Get in there. Is that it for this room? No, nope, here. Oh shit. Okay, that's bad. That's very bad. I mean, nobody's taking any damage. I can do a shelter here as well, but it's going to use a lot of tools. Too many different ways in and out. First things first, let's deal with the hunt. So if I position here, I can get anything coming through the door there, and I also have line of fire and anything coming through the other door. There's another door to the south, and there's a lot of motion tracker contacts, but hardly any of them are actually moving 
to my location, which suggests that most of them are probably cultists. Right, I really need to start managing stress. I need a room that only has one way in or out. Like this one. I can make a shelter here. Right, let's get the drone on that right now and get that door welded shut. I mean, the hunt's about to end anyway. But there's a couple of motion tracker contacts making their way around, and I really, really don't want to trigger another hunt straight away. It's got the medic in the squad now as well, so uh, the medic heals everybody by one, maybe two hit points. Oh, it's one, but uh, nobody's actually injured anyway. But it's the kind of thing that it's better to have not need than to need and not have. So, we have rested. Stress has been reset. This has also created a save point. The one thing that I am getting a bit concerned about on this level is the lack of any ammunition. I mean, I've seen tools, I've seen medkits. I don't think I've seen any ammunition yet. And look, I mean, look at all of those motion tracker contacts. I think I'm going to need a lot of ammunition. <laughs> it's another thing the game loves to do. And I touched on this in the last video. Um, you get levels where you've got lots and lots of ammo, but no tools or medkits. And you get levels, like this one is shaping up to be, where you've got tools and medkits, but a very, very More limited amount of ammunition available, and a shit ton of things that need shooting. I mean, a quick look at the map there showed five resources, which I don't need because this is the final mission. There's nothing Cut left for me to spend open. resources on. Bring one medkit, well. which I don't need because my med pouches are full. Uh, two tools. More signatures spotted. Admittedly, tools are probably going to come in useful Drone because I'm going to be using them to make shelters, but only one ammo. And it's Warrior the other way. Hurry up, squad. Right, managed to get in here without getting right spotted. Now. Yeah, and resources. Let's Don't need resources. Got. I've unlocked everything, and it's not like I'm... Exactly, I mean, I had nearly a thousand. <laughs> not short of stuff to make sentry guns, tools and med kits with. They're heading our way. I'm also not Stay a huge fan of the layout of these rooms. I mean, they're all on the small side and there's all kinds of things that break line of sight. And more importantly, line of fire, like that. I'm sharing this room with a cultist. I mean, I'm in cover. There is a lot of cover, though. I'll give them that much. Can we kill this guy? Smudge has a shot. Got you, in two of them. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I'm in cover there, not. The hive has launched. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Alien sneaked in through behind us. I mean, taking it out with a shotgun, but. Mm, yeah. Any one of them. Look at all the contacts. Any one of them could be an alien. I'm trying to pay attention to the ones that are heading this way. I mean, that's not an alien, it's a cultist, but I don't want him to bring his friends. Nice shot, Smudge. So what's closing in on this position? And oh! Kill that fuck. bastard! All right. Enemies on the air! Shit, that thing's off! There's contacts moving in from behind us. And those are aliens. Oh, we got pounced. That was close, took it out before it actually landed. Now, this isn't a terrible spot, actually. Unless anything comes at me from this side. But no line of fire. Area. But Cassandra's nowhere to be found. We have to dive deeper into the complex. That's the terminal we were looking for. Get to open the door, people. Your carriage is waiting. Kill that bastard! Right, we're now on the opposite. <laughs> you see what I mean? On it. See what I had to go through in order to get to this terminal? And get that door open so the APC More can get in here. Incoming. Hopefully the APC is going to help me clear out. I mean, look at all Listen, of those contacts. I think we're Jeez. good. Should they build a barricade? It probably means we're on the right track. You've really got the hang of this, don't you? Not sure you need me along at all. I had a good teacher. Okay, people. Lead me to that barricade, will you? But what do you mean, lead you to the barricade? You're in the fucking APC. <laughs> You're the More one with five spotted. inches of armor. And the plasma cannon. Why are we leading you anywhere? Come on, team. Somebody get in touch with my agent. I'm not Save sure I like this gig. Okay, there we go. The APC made short work of that fella. So where are we going? Ready that C4 Marines in. We need to weaken that barricade. 
weaken it. <laughs> is this like loosening the lid of the jar for you or something, is it? Great, now I have to use ammo. There's an APC right there with a double barrel plasma cannon and I'm having to expend my ammo in order to weaken the barricade for it. Get down, it's gonna blow! Motion track track. Fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be like this, isn't it? Ammo is gonna be tight on this mission. That blast will have attracted attention. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, no, yeah, very true. Okay. Let's wait this one out. Although that does appear to be, if anything was going to come, it would have come by now. And here we go. Okay, cultists. There's no cover here. Come on, team. Smudge, take this guy out before he sees us. Come on, Smudge, for God's sake. No, 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 no. They're in cover. I'm not. I don't want to be fighting here. Ah, uh, well, they're dead. This is fine. Drone spotted. Oh crap! There's more. Oh, there's an alien in the vent. Get out of there! No, move, move! No, keep moving! Oh, oh, it hasn't seen us. Smudge. No, it's too close. Yeah. The hive has launched a hunt. Shit. I mean, there are worse rooms in which to deal with the hunt. Nice, big, open, clear lines of fire. I've got the APC covering my ass. What's on this data pad? Anything important? Oh, actually, it's detailing the location of supplies. Maybe ammo. That might actually be important. Anyway, first things first, we're being hunted. And Hurry the fuck up, around squad. and find out meter is advancing, so... Right. Cultists. The precision shot is very, very good for drastically cutting down the number of people shooting back at you here. So I'm going to run everybody into cover here. Smudge catch one of them. The squad from their safe position in cover. Nuke the other one. There's a toolkit over there. More signals incoming. Going to pick that up. Because I actually can, unlike the med supplies, which I haven't actually used yet. Med supplies over there, but I can't pick them up. So what's the deal with this place? There is another objective over in that direction. All right, so let's take this nice and slow. Because there are some contacts good. around the corner here, but that's a sealed door. Oh, there's a terminal there. Okay. Along like that. Two contacts on the other side. Oh, shit, incoming. there's a lot more than two contacts on the other side. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, things happening. Please be a good thing. Careful, Marines. This garage has been turned into a proper fortress. All right. Get that damn door open. We'll get rhythm with the APC. The terminal is right next to you. Hurry. All right. I'll loosen the lid for you again. <laughs> Fortunately, the terminal's right there. Shouldn't take too long. And everybody is still in cover. Come on, Stern. Do your thing. All right. This is actually pretty cool. Little power slide at the end there. We have to find another way around. How about that elevator we found just before? I bet the mine is crisscrossed with underground galleries. Good call. The control room we saw on the cameras should operate it. You really got the hang what? of this, don't you, Stern? Well, Stern didn't do a great job of taking out all of these cultists, though, did he? What are you waiting for, people? You had one Move job, Stern. That guy's in cover Come as well. On, team. Uh, Safe position taken. Smudge, do your thing. Got you in my sights. You like nice. that, huh? Okay, the room is now clear. Quick look at the map. There are no resources in this room whatsoever. No ammo, especially. Where's this elevator they were talking about? Shit, it's coming to us. You know what? Let's get Deploying a motion tracker track. down in here. And we'll stick a mine Roger. next to it. Planning I mean, the Watch ATC the should be able to cover anything that the motion tracker Mine's draws activated. in if I have to trigger motion it. Oh, and there is a toolkit over here. All right, cool. So the room wasn't completely without resources. But still, inside. no ammo. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going. 
current objective is still to reach the control room. But they were talking about some elevator that might lead us further down. I have no idea where that is. Move on. I have multiple Let's signals. head towards the nearest objective marker. There's something over there. Might be an alien in a vent. Let's try to get eyes on. Could just be something on the other side of that door though. But it could also be an alien in a vent. Oh look, more stuff that I can't pick up. What's through here? Now that door's sealed. Perhaps we should Oh move. shit. Shit. That, no, this is... Fuck. I'm gonna get spotted. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I think there's gonna be a massive onslaught coming. Possibly before the end of this hunt expires. There's a curious cultist over there who doesn't appear to have seen us. There's something coming through that door up ahead, though. Like yep, yeah, it's an alien. Oh, the APC Five took it in. More signals incoming. And the APC just took something else out that was moving very quickly and probably also an Move alien. On. It might be a good idea to just wait this hunt out and More see whether or not a massive coming. onslaught triggers, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> Let's continue. I think we Stress might get away with just it. As well as a bullet. Although stress is also accumulating way faster than I'd like. I need, I need to find away. another room to use as a shelter. Oh, there's cultists in here. Smudge yeah, actually has a sense. shot. The recon Take marine is actually taking point for a change. Wow, look well. at that. I only had to wait until the last Looks mission. Like Good job, <laughs> okay, the hunt's over. We did not get a massive onslaught. <gasps> ammo! I'm having that. Let's see what's inside. I think I'm telling you, the second ammo crate I've found in this entire level, and there's another one. Oh, More signals yeah. Incoming. I mean, I'll pick up the materials as well, even though Let's I don't need them and I can't use them, but... Right. Our next objective... Move on. Is that it? Can I get through this way? Looks like I can. I can. It's, of course, packed full of cultists, but there's some cover there I can nice get to. Job, That's the control room. Now get that elevator moving. What I still don't know where this elevator is. Anyway, first things first. Let's deal with the cultist presence in here. They haven't actually seen me yet. I mean, the central column there is creating all kinds of line of sight issues, which is good because it means they haven't seen me yet, but it's also bad because it means I can't shoot them. I'm going to have to move. Maybe here? Safe position taken. Get that guy? Line him up. Yes. Oh yeah, don't miss me. Can't shoot him. He doesn't even appear to be a, completely oblivious to the gunfire. <laughs> uh, I have to move around. Oh, there's another one coming in. Come on, then shoot them. How the hell can they see us, but we can't shoot them? What the hell's going on? This doesn't make any sense. If I can see somebody, surely I can shoot them. But no, again. Move All on. kinds of line of sight issues. Great okay. Grants us your strength. Took out the one. I've got no cover from him Double where time. I am, but he can't shoot me. Safe position taken. Got cover here. Focus fire on target. Wait, again, it's blocking line of sight. Come on. Can you imagine dealing with a massive Greatest onslaught in this room? Strength. Be an absolute fucking nightmare. Anyway, we're done. I could create a shelter here, door. and I think I am going to create right a shelter now. here. It's going to cost me three welding. tools, but I've got lots of tools, you and I do keep finding pass, tools scattered fuckers. throughout this level. It's just ammunition that's short, but I need to deal door with the stress. Also, door Skirts is injured, and if I rest, that'll recover one hit point. And resting, of course, also creates a save point, so we're definitely going to have a rest in here. And I think this is a decent spot to call it for the day. I mean, I feel like we've barely scratched the surface of this final mission. I think this is probably going to take several hours to get complete, wakey, wakey. and I might not get it done in one deployment. Fortunately, On it. I have left myself a couple of spare days in case I do have to extract up, and do this again. But we're going to pick up the tools, because we've just expended Let's three, and then we'll see what happens. Oh, there's a sector map over there, but that's going to cost a tool again. So I'm not going to do that unless I have to. Let's, uh, they found the terminal. Let's hope this works.
Let's get this initial objective complete at least. Yes! We got power running. Back to the elevator, people. Move it. Okay. Everyone's rested, stress is reset. Don't have a lot of ammo. Still full on med kits, still full on sentry guns. We're up to seven of nine tools. I think this is a decent spot on which to continue. All of that coming up in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're all having a great day. And as always, stay frosty, Marines.